welcome to my YouTube channel and you're watching Followers. Okay, so in this episode, we will do a shopping haul. Let's unbox. I have a special guest here, Dustin Shavir. He's, he's not really friendly, he's not really nice, but yeah, I hope you understand. He's my friend. All right, let's do this. The first stop, um, this is from a brand. I'm not really sure about his brand name but it's kind of expensive. This shirt, so it's like $2,000. Whoa, 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 duh, yeah. duh, duh, duh. you're exaggerating, V. No, it's true, like here, oh, no, I, no, where's v, the price tag? You're, you're blowing this out of proportion a little bit, okay? That's not $2,000. Let me talk to the camera and then you can continue unboxing your stuff. So blow something out of proportion, it's too, exaggerate something that's maybe important or serious. So this isn't that expensive. No, it's, it's $2,000 from a brand. I don't really know the name. It's not $2,000. All right. And the next step, um, another shirt. Why do we even have to do this right now, V? Why are we unboxing stuff on camera? The audience doesn't care at all. Get out the speed, Dustin. This is a trend, worldwide trend. Get up the speed. This is a trend. I've never seen this trend before. Because you're always behind the times. So if somebody needs to get up to speed, they don't have certain information that's quite current. So right now, I guess this is a trend. I don't really know. For me, it's quite boring. Yeah, of course, because you're not interested in shopping. Oh. I have to pre-order this stuff. And like we have been waiting for two months for it to come to Vietnam. And I got this one. You're so uh, full of it, like, dude. You keep blowing it out of proportion. Is... You just bought it this morning at the sale. Five dollars. Yeah. For shipping and five thousand for the real price. No, it wasn't. All right. So the next step. Oh. Why are you doing this? You're making yourself sound more special than you actually are, V. You're, it's not that expensive. I really like this color because we can um, fit with so many customs. And yeah, it's, it's a little bit cheap. It's probably um, 10,000. Yeah, 10,000. No, it's not. How do you know? Because I was with you buying this today. You had to drag me through oh, all of this. Oh, and then the pair of shoes. Drag cause... somebody through something, like just take them with you. Dude, I, 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 I don't know what to do with myself, V. This is the latest trend. Who would wear that? Pile of shoes. This is so ugly. Really? Yeah, you can say it's ugly because you don't even have $7,000 to pay for this. It's 7000 and you have coffee on your shoe and they're already dirty. You pay this brand new $7,000 for a used shoe. Um, you're yeah, so because full of it. You're making this up. You're lying right now. The original price? It's $14,000. Okay, the original price, but what you paid for it is not much. These are just secondhand shoes. Secondhand, somebody was wearing them before, and they probably just donated to V or gave it to her very cheap. Blow something out of proportion. So if somebody is blowing something out of proportion, they're often exaggerating maybe a serious problem or something important. So it depends on the context and how it's used. But for example, you know, V got hurt the other day and it wasn't really a big deal, but she's like, oh my gosh, Dustin, I got a scratch here, I'm bleeding here, I could have died. I'm like, V, you're blowing this out of proportion. It was nothing. Blow something out of proportion. 